Hello FIFA faithful, Bear Hams here, and welcome to episode 4 of my Minnesota United crew mode. We are in the knockout stages of this COVID Cup, this MLS is back cup. So we did have a successful group stage as we did draw the first game, and then we managed to win the second and third game. So we're just going to get straight into it. We are going to play our first matchup, and it is against LAFC. As you can see next to Boxel, it is Ike Opara. He is back from injury, and that is because in real life, there is a chance that he will be able to play play in the knockout stages if he really wants to and you know what we're going to take him up on that offer so we will be starting for the loons this game against a very talented LAFC side we have some great youngsters not to mention the great Carlos Vela Luis Amaria in this competition has five goals as some of you may know in the first game he actually got injured during warm-up so they had to bring on a Mason toy good news is that Amaria will be back for the game tonight against RSL. Vela always dangerous. We'll find Rossi up top, the Uruguayan. Find some space. Duke with a chance for a shot, and that's going to go in right past Miller. Not the start that we wanted in the first 25 minutes. Good passing all around by the LA squad. Now we got to come back. Now, if we do lose this game, it will be the only game of this episode, which I don't want that to be the case, since there will have to be a lot of time to kill. As Dotson will find his mentor, Ozzy Alonso, who was also out of that game against KC. Though it was just precautionary. Want to have him for the other group stage games. Craig Goosh back to Alonzo. Alonzo flips that through. Amaria, chance for an equalizer, but he shanks that wide right. It's maybe something here as Molino will find Alonzo. Maybe a chance for a run here on the wing. Ethan Finley passes man. Maybe a chance for a ball in the box. Gets one through. Gray Goosh takes the shot, but it will hit off the feet of the goalkeeper. It will be cleared, though it will fall to Bradley Wright Phillips. Crazy that he is still playing the former Chelsea product. Had a fruitful career with the Red Bulls. Is now on the West Coast with LAFC. So now he's continuing to go down that right wing. Good play by Metinair, the machine to win it. Still with it is Rossi trying to get past Grey Goosh. Great use of his six foot two frame, Grey Goosh. As Finley tries to center that through to Alonzo. Alonzo will win it. Able to slide past one defender, but that won't be enough. That will be the end of the first half. Goal by LAFC, 45 minutes left. It looks like they will be moving on to the semifinals or the quarterfinals. I'm not doing the math right, but regardless, we need to come back. I have made one sub for the second half, and that is Raheem Edwards for Robin Lud. Robin Lud, just like the game in KC, absolutely non-existent. So Alonzo does see the run from Edwards. Edwards does have some pace to him in comparison to Robin Lud. Edwards doing his best, though won't win it, and it looks like it's time for another sub. I think what we'll do here is I do want to keep Finley. I want to keep a lot of these guys on, but I do want to bring on Mason Toy. Our second sub for this game will be Mason Toy. We have taken out the captain, Ozzy Alonzo, so Grey Goosh will be our CDM, and it's going to be helpful too since he knows how to shoot from a distance. Try and add his name to the score sheet is now Rossi. We'll lose it. Good play by Finley to win it. Now maybe a chance on the counter here as Finley using his pace and using the space to get open as he's still going, waiting for some teammates to get in the box. Look at the amount of gray jerseys in the area. He's going to find Edwards. Raheem Edwards passes it back. Molino, oh, too heavy of a touch. Got about a little more than 20 minutes left to get this equalizer. Make this game interesting as Edwards will find Toy. Toy gets across the box for Amaria, and Amaria is going to bury it home. Luis Amaria with his sixth goal in the competition. Great pass from Mason Toy. As now we have 20 minutes left, and it's anybody's game. And in real life, I am so excited for Amaria. I have not seen that type of striker with the loons. Will they get the ball, and will they score again? Oh, that's going to open things up. There's K with a shot. Takes a deflection off of Ike Opara. We will keep it for the time being as... Oh, no. Boxel. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. I thought that went in for a sec. I saw the shimmer of the net. And thankfully, Tyler Miller avoids a disaster, as he did have one in that game against KC. Good play by Molino to win it. It's Grey Goosh. Finds Amaria. Toy. Gets hassled, but no call. 
Oh, long ball in the corner. Dotson against Vela. The MVP of the season tries to flip one past Dotson, but he knows better. Added time now. Two minutes. A lot can happen here. Still have the ball and a chance. It's Finley. Out wide. Still out wide. Gets a cross in. Looking for Amaria to win it and he will. Luis Amaria in the 93rd minute takes in the Ethan Finley pass. And we are moving on to the quarterfinals of this COVID Cup. So that will do it. 90 minutes down. The Loons are off to the quarterfinals. It was a nail biter. But thankfully in the final 20 minutes, we were able to score two goals from the feet of Luis Amaria. Two great crosses, one by Toy, one by Finlay. Mission accomplished. I did make an error. This is not the quarterfinals, but the semifinals. I'm so used to the format that the MLS has it since they do have 24 teams in that competition. There's only 16 in this one. So we are in the semifinals. And if we do indeed win, we are on to the finals against an Eastern Conference side. Oh, man, that's not fair. They can actually have a home game. I didn't think they'd actually put real stadiums in this tournament. I thought it was just a, a blank slate. But apparently, Seattle Sounders get to play at their home field whenever. As Alonzo, we're going to start something quick here. We'll find Amaria, who's already on seven goals on this tournament, takes the shot and almost gets an eighth. Of course, Seattle Sounders did win the MLS Cup last season as they did defeat Toronto FC for a second time in three attempts. It's now Ibarra. The former loon trying to get in on the action, but shot goes straight at Tyler Miller. Oh, short cross in. Rui Du is still with it. Oh, clear it out. Gregouge does it. We'll find Finley. Now maybe a chance here if we can open things up here, but it will stay with the Sounders. As Ladero to Ibarra. Rui Diaz takes the shot from distance. Oh, what a shot. What a shot by Raul Rui Diaz. Puts it right past Tyler Miller. And in front of the Seattle faithful, who shouldn't be there in the first place due to social distancing, they're going to get the scoring started. Now, what are we going to do? Are we going to repeat the last game and come from behind? Or are we going to finally succumb to a better side as Molino is going to find Finley? Finley does get a cross in. Amari is there, but shanks it completely. A chance here once again. Finley's making another run. Finley going deep, looking for Amaria. Amaria does get ahead once again, but it's just going to fall right to the hands of Fry. Eiko Parra to Boxel. Now Alonzo looking for the run by Raheem Edwards, who was helpful in the game in real life against uh, Sporting KC as he did get the game-winning assist. Alonzo sees a run from Hot Boy. Hot Boy. Centers it through, looking for Alonzo. Yes, we'll get the equalizer just before halftime. It's the Cuban captain hooking up with Kevin Molino. As now we got the equalizer earlier, and now we can head into the locker room with a little more life in our legs. No changes for half number two. We are going to keep things simple, as everyone has been doing a good job so far, as Raheem Edwards just going to take it to the corner straight away. Does get across and looking for Amaria, but Amaria's almost there. Metanair to Finley. Oh, see the run. Here we go. Cuban captain once again. Second goal of the game. It's Ozzy Alonso. Saw that wide open hole. He ran right through it and placed it right past Fry. So now we do have the lead, but I don't want to go full defense as of yet. Still want a chance for maybe a third goal as there's a Wayward cross going straight to Metnair. Metnair's going to lose it, though. There's a quick shot. Thankfully, Tyler Miller didn't have his thumb up his butt. But what we're going to do is we're going to move Edwards to the right. We are going to take off Finley. We will bring on Dotson. We will bring on Gasper. So those will be our two subs. This might be a hilariously stupid decision since we took off two of our greatest offensive assets. But I think if we can hold our own here, I think we'll be fine. Still with the Sounders. Jordan Morris could have played European football, but if, oh no, that's a, wow. I was going to go into a diatribe about how much I don't like Jordan Morris, but he thread in a great pass. I mean, it was offside, so it wouldn't have mattered anyways, but Svensson could have got the equalizer. So there's going to be one more chance for a sub, and I think we'll take it. And we will be taking out Raheem Edwards for Harrison. Harrison 
who can play right back, right wing back, and right mid. We'll bring him on. So technically, we will have four wing backs playing on the roster. Now we are into added time. There's a chance for them to get this equalizer here. Svensson finds Jones. Now to Del M. Svensson with a chance for a cross here. He does get it in. There is an open Morris. Morris with the shot. He's going to put it in. Jordan Morris finds the cross from Svensson. And we're heading into extra time. This is not what I wanted. Now we are heading into extra time. We will need an offensive presence. But that offensive presence is currently on the bench. Unfortunately, for this extra time period, they won't allow another sub, which means we're stuck with what we have. We have four wingbacks on. Let's see what they can do. It's into Hayes. We'll find Grey Goosh. Is Grey Goosh. Does see a run from Gasper. Gasper galloping down that right side. Left side, excuse me. There's a chance here. Gets a low cross and looking for Gregus with the header. But it's just wide. One thing I am worried about if we don't get this goal in the next 15 minutes or so is that our players are not good at penalty kicks. There's a good pass to Dotson. Dotson does get a cross in. Looking for Amaria. Amaria takes it. Oh, when he misses. A golden opportunity bestowed by Hassani Dotson finding Amaria, but he can't put it in. There is two minutes of added time here. Maybe a chance. Here comes Hayes. Hayes floats it up. There's a chance for an open header, but Harrison couldn't put it in. Hayes was aiming for Grey Goosh, but was not able to find him. And after two hours of gameplay, we're heading to a penalty shootout. Before heading into this penalty shootout, I do want to take a gander at these stats. It has been neck and neck. We've had the most shots, less on target, more possession. It has been a fun one, to say the least. And this will be the lineup. Amaria, Alonzo, Gregush, Metinair, Opara, Hayes, Boxel, Hairston, Dotson, Gasper, and our goalkeeper, Tyler Miller. Sounds Ladero to start. Tyler Miller. Will guess right. Good start for the American keepers. Now it's Amaria trying to get one past Fry. He hasn't done that all night, and it's going to be blocked. Tit for tat from the goalkeepers. It's now Jordan Morris. It's going to go sort of straight down the middle. Chance for Alonzo now. He's going to guess wrong. Another save by Fry through Diaz's turn. He's going to guess right. Already down by two. Last thing we need here is Grey Goosh. Looking to get one past Fry, but Fry almost gets it, but perfectly placed by Grey Goosh, and now we cannot miss, and we need some help. And that's not going to help. <laughs> now it is Roman Metinair. Oh, man. Fry has been near perfect this entire time, and he's going to miss that one. So now it is down to Tyler Miller against Jones. I'm going to go to the left, and he misses it. We had the lead until the 90th minute. Jordan Morris scored. And now we'll be heading out of this COVID Cup, this MLS's back cup, in such heartbreaking fashion. Not the way I wanted it to go. Thought we would be victorious. I thought that early miss by Seattle was going to help. But no dice. So we'll be heading back to Minnesota. As Seattle rips off the Icelandic Viking chant. I mean, granted, the Vikings do that too. So we're... I'll forget about it. But anyways. Ah, oh, that sucks. But... Good goal by Rui Diaz. So this is the final matchup. It is Seattle Sounders against Columbus Crew. And I don't think we're able to see the end of it. Yep, as it just kicks me back to the main menu. So what is going to happen for the future of this save now that we are done with the COVID Cup? I am going to resume as follows. I am going to simulate a whole bunch of games in the season and base it off of the first three games in the group stage as we did draw and then win two of them. So that'll 
that will help decide how we are going to do moving forward. And yeah, I'm just going to continue with this save as there are still games for the loons and we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, I'm going to try to match it up with every single loons game. So for sure, again, we're going to have one tonight for RSL. We'll have one for Colorado Rapids. And then if they do move forward into the knockout stages, we'll have episodes for that. But then we just have to wait for the regular season to resume. That will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as you did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. This has been Bear Hams. And as always, to the loop.